One of the best things about Django is its ability to use templates. So what templates will allow us to do is make our web pages smarter and actually more efficient and our coding more efficient. So templates really help us a lot, right? So if we look at these views, we see that we wrote some HTML code and that's what we're responding with. And well, if we wrote a lot more code here, our HTML code, it would start to look really gross inside of this views.py. You wanna make things as clean as you possibly can be. And although this right now is pretty clean, but it's not really showing us how clean it could be. And further, what if you have a web designer that you wanna work with and that web designer doesn't know how to do Django, then they are not gonna be able to write code inside of this. They're gonna to have to be different, right? So that's where Django templates come in. So this is what we'll do in this one. We're gonna set up a very basic Django template. So inside of settings.py, we're gonna go in here and we see this, this um, attribute called base dir or this variable called base dir. So what this is referring to is the base directory as in where manage.py is. That is showing you on the computer where manage.py is. So that's what OS does. It's a Python module that uses things that are related to your operating system. So using OS is better because if you opened my code on your computer, regardless of if it's Windows or Mac, OS will solve for, for a lot of the path issues that happen with Mac and Windows or Linux and Windows. So if I jump into my project and type out PWD or DIR if you're on Windows, you'll see the path to where your project is. And this is a relative path relative to where the manage.py is. So if I actually moved this folder somewhere else, it would show me a different path and the project would still work, which is really nice. So that's why it's also not hard coded. So that's also why I, if I copy this, it's also why it's not uh, the base dir is not equal to that, right? I mean, it technically is equal to that or currently in its current state, it's equal to that, but long-term it's not equal to that. So let's just copy that. Let's just get rid of that. Um, so that's where that is located. And that's why if you scroll down a little bit, um, the databases, it says ospath.join database, uh, the base dir, as well as this file name. And that's how that was actually created in that location is because of this. Otherwise, it would be created um, probably right where settings.py is, right? So if I got rid of that, actually, you know what? Let's just try it for a second. I'm going to comment out the old one and just put a name db.sqlite3 and we'll save that. And I'll just do python manage.py and we'll just run migrate. And we have some stuff here um, as far as the database is concerned. It doesn't look like it showed up there. It might still be going to its default. So let's try it again. And no, it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep that back to where it was. Uh, but anyways, the point here is this is gonna take that path and go directly where db.sqlite currently is. So we wanna do that same thing with um, our templates. So if we scroll up to templates and durs, we're gonna paste that same deal in here. So ospath.joinbaster, and we're gonna make a folder here called templates. So inside of the base directory where from source where manage.py is, so I'm gonna close out all these other directories. I'm gonna come in here and do new folder, call it templates. All right, so now we should have this new folder inside, oops, that went in post, that's not where it's supposed to go. Let's delete that one. It's supposed to go inside of source. So inside of source, I'll do new folder again, templates. And now inside of SRC, we have post templates and try Django 1.9. So inside of here, I'm just gonna make a new file in here, call it index.html. And we'll just go in here and declare doc type HTML and create some HTML code. body and I'll just say h1 body or uh, template is working. Close that off. Cool. So now we've got that. Let's go and jump back into our URLs and we're going to go based off of this shortcut now. So instead of re render return um, HTTP response, we'll, we'll actually use the list one. I'm going to comment this out and we're going to return render 
we're going to take in the request, the template, which we called index.html, and then I'm just going to pass an empty dictionary in here. I'll explain that later. All right, so now that we've got this, let's go back into our posts and we'll just come in here. Let's make sure the server is running. Python manage.py, run server. And we do see a lot of errors here, which we'll come back to in a second. Refresh, and now we see template is working. Um, so what happened here was we used this render function to take the request, it looks for a template, and then it looks for some other stuff, which we'll get back to. If I did ABC and refreshed in here, it'll say template does not exist. So this is actually looking for a template that we just didn't create yet. We'll still learn about how templates work, but something that's to note is how it's loading these templates. We'll see here it says file system loader, and it's looking inside of try Django 1.9, SRC, templates, ABC. All right, so that right there, the reason it knows to look there is because of what we did here. So if I got rid of this, I'm just gonna cut it out and save for a second, refresh in here, and now it doesn't even look to know to load from there. It doesn't even look to go there. So we refresh, bring it back, and now it's in there. So if for some reason your template's not working is because this is not correct. So now, of course, with our view, we do not want to call it ABC. I'll leave it as index. And we'll c clean up a little bit of an error from urls.py. So what we see here is it's saying support for the view argument URL is deprecated and blah, blah, blah. Um, so we have to pass the callable instead. So this is actually closer to what we would do in function-based views anyways. But for some reason, their documentation has not been updated. So we're going to do it the way that we would have otherwise. So I'm going to do from views import, use parentheses, and I'm just going to import each one of these here as we are going to use them like this. Just a little thing that the code says, but the documentation does not. Um, so that's where you want to go off of the little warnings. Now, what I just did, I'm just preparing it for 1.9 and I'm also, or excuse me, 1.10. And I'm also just trying to get rid of um, any errors in general with the code itself. So there we go. Now it should work. And also those errors should go away. I refresh and I got a spelling error on my view. Should be index, no T, save, refresh, templates working. Cool. All right, so if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.